All right. The end of chapter two. First, your interpretation questions simply refer you back to the chapter itself. All right. They, they ask you to review that which was read. It's really easy. Um, and it might be a, a bit challenging, but just, just read the chapter again. All of the answers are there. All of the interpretation question answers are there. So push yourself to really answer the questions. Um, and it really gives you an opportunity to really reflect critically on the reading and, and, and move your comprehension forward a bit. The extra SPSS problems, 2.1 and 2.2 in the bottom of page, at the bottom of page 35, require to use require you to use a specific data set, college student data set. So what I've done, we're looking at our ULEARN page, and you may not be able to see the icon here, so there's a uh, scroll bar to your right that you should use to scroll down and look at the bottom of the page. And I'm just going to select this data set and you know I'm not sure what dialog box will will open when you select the data set on campus but basically you just want to access the data set so if it's asked you to open with SPSS that's fine if it, if it asks if it only gives you the option to save the file save it save it to your desktop on campus and then go to your desktop and open it so from here I'm just going to open with SPSS Okay, and so it should pop up any second here. Okay, so here's our data. You know, it's it's this is our variable view. We know it's our excuse me. This is our data view. We know it's our data view because at the top we see our variable names, and in each column we see the data. And the in the data set we constructed by hand, so to speak, we only had 12 respondents. In this data set, we have 50. Let me go to the variable view. The variable view is the same as, as with our own data set. Abbreviated names and labels that explain the names and values that explain the data. These are our codes. So let's look at um, ours HRSTV. What does that mean? Well, if we look at the label HRSTV, oh, amount of TV watched per week. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, there are no values here because whatever it is, if it's 34 hours, it's 34 hours. I mean, there's no need to identify variables. Uh, let's look at uh, children. What's what's children mean? I mean, are you a child or, or what, what does it mean? Does subject have children? And then our values help us understand. If we see a zero, that's our code for no. One is our code for yes. Okay, great. All right. So control T back to our data view. And then we're going to look at question 2.1. So read question 2.1. And essentially what it wants us to do is do a st descriptive analysis. And we've already done one on our own data set. So you're just going to repeat the steps that you see on page 31. You're going to go analyze. We've done this already. Analyze, descriptive statistics, descriptives. We're going to, they want us to do an analysis on all of them, so we're going to control A, move them over. Options. What do they want? They want mean. They don't want standard deviation. They want minimum, maximum. We're going to leave the in, in variable list order. That's fine. We're going to hit continue. And OK. It's the same thing that we did with our own data set. And it's going to process, and it's going to give us an output. And I think my output's already here. There you go. So now we see the same thing. That, well, not the same thing, but this, it's the same concept. A summary of all of our statistics. So let me hurry up before my five minutes is out. Um, we, we can tell, you know, what our mean is, minimum, maximum. All of this stuff is here. So we're just going to answer those questions. They do ask, for example, um, you know, how many students have complete data? You should know that. And... Identify any statistics on the output that are not meaningful. Well, here's one example. Gender. What's the average of male and female? 1.48? It doesn't make sense, and there's a reason why it doesn't. And maybe some of you know that. And they ask specific um, questions about height and things like that. So this should give you a point of reference to answer all of your questions for Chapter 2.